Greetings once again. It's your brother Spencer here. I want to talk a little bit about worldly lust that so many are getting involved in, mainly into sports and entertainment, which is a symbol of the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye. You think about sports today, and all you think about is money, gambling, sex, crime. And this is what many of us encourage, support, cheer for, idolize, and direct our children and youth to get involved with. Jesus argues against this. Now, before you come up with a scripture like body exercise, profit of little, or there's nothing wrong with sports or sports is sin. I'm not saying the sport itself is sin, but I'm saying what surrounds the sports what is surrounding sports here not only in america but all international you have soccer which some of the richest athletes are in soccer now you know and people uh, you, uh, get into a lot of violent things because of sports betting what's associated with betting people going into debt trusting in uncertain rich uncertain riches which the Bible warns against. Let me go right into the scriptures. I'm going to be reading out of Matthew 19. And this is where our Christian heart should be, not in the sports. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Now, where are you laying your treasure at? Who are you idolizing? God will accept you idolizing no one but him. So, to be into sports, and some of you grown men with the name of another individual on your back, younger than you, that's involved in lust, and involved in fornication, and involve, involved in all kinds of concupiscence and Naughtiness, but you're idolizing that. Where are your treasures at? Are they here on the earth? Do you get more excited over a sports game than you do the word of the Lord? Well, this is a problem. Again, sports is not the problem, but what surrounds it. One thing that you should recognize about sports is that most people are doing it. When you go to the sporting event, you see thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people watching sporting events. Before you go in there, you go to the parking lot and you have people what they call tailgating. And they're doing what? Eating, drinking, and being married, just like the days of Moses. But still, you see all this going on as a precursor before you even get into the stadium, you see this. But you still go in there. So when you go in there, what do you see? More people getting excited, eating, drinking, and being merry, all in the celebration of athletes going out there one against another. Now, we're taught to love our brothers, but this, even though it's a sport, is one man against another. There's a loser and there's a winner. And this is what the world tells you, that it's, when somebody's winning, somebody has to lose. And this is what sports is sending around. And you think about it, sports like boxing. You have one mano against mano, man against another man. And they get into the ring. And basically, they're paid to beat each other to death. It's a slow death, but they beat each other's senses. Most of them die poor. Most of them die broke. Just for the entertainment of man. You, you mean to tell me to entertain you, you have to watch another man beat another man. And really, they end up beating each other in trying to do it. And you pay them a whole lot of money. You give them a lot of fame. You get a lot of women. You get them a lot of drugs just to entertain you. 
And a lot of us want our children to grow up to be athletes and entertainers. You know, you don't encourage a child to be a lawyer, a doctor, preacher. You want to be an entertainer. Why? 